Now we are entering the practical session. Okay, so for the practical session, I will give you a set of uh, single beam bathymetry data and we will try to compute the TVU at each of the line crossing. Okay, so maybe not each of the line crossings, but as much as possible. Okay, so this is how you actually do that. The first thing that you want to see is uh, which line crossing that we are going to focus on because here we can see at least how many, like one, two, three, four, five, five times three, 15 line crossing. So for example, we're going to focus on this line, okay? And if we zoom into this line crossing, we can see that there are four points that are the closest to each other, okay? So we want to know how trusting we are to uh, this line crossing, okay? So for example, each of these, the depths are uh, as written. So you've got 26.4, 25.5, 24.6, and 26.2 meters. So those are the individual depths. Now uh, we see how many samples have we got. We've got four samples, so n equals four. And then we calculate our standard deviation. So firstly, you want to see what your X bar is. X bar is basically your average data or your, the mean of your data. So this is uh, the average of the depth, okay? So each of these depth is, uh, so for example, this one is 26.4 minus this, and then you square it, and then you do it each of them, and then you sum it all. Uh, then you divide it by n minus one or four minus one, and then you calculate the root of it, and then you will have s. So here the s is 0.81. Then you calculate your standard error with this equation. So your standard error in here is uh, 0.41. So your s is uh, 0.81, n is still four. And then you can estimate the confidence interval so the confidence interval here is basically just the standard error times your confidence level. And for every single confidence level in hydrographic uh, surveying, according to S44 standard by IHO, is always 95%. So your Z alpha is always 1.96. So your standard error times 1.96 is around uh, 0.80. So it's plus minus 0.80. So this is how it looks like. So if you imagine that this is your uh, data distribution, you've got your X bar as 25.67 uh, and your standard deviation is actually around minus 80 to plus 80, okay? So that's how trusting you are. It's almost one meter, so you already feel, you know, uh, you're, you're, you're unsettled a bit because you're in the 1A order. And then you want to compare your computer TVU with the standard TVU. So we'll go back to order 1A. You can either just take A and B uh, all together, or if you want to know how A and B is um, decided, it's actually from this bit. Okay, so you uh, can see in the S44 another table. And this table is actually, uh, so you can see uh, the criteria and then in which, um, you know, in which type of um, uncertainty that you're looking for. So here, BC is, this is BC, okay? So BC is actually this and you've got BD. So that's your uh, line. And then you see this is BC8 and BD6. So BC8 is this bit. So you see that your A is going to be 0.5, as you can see, and then this is BD6, okay? So if BD6, then it's basically this one. So that's your B. So you compute it into your TVU uh, equation, and the depth is actually your X bar, which is uh, 25.67. So sorry for this, this should be 25.67. I'll, uh, I'll revise it when I'll give it to you. And then afterwards, you will have your T view as 0.60. And 0.60 is actually smaller than uh, 0.80. So it means that your crossing does not comply to order 1A standard T view. 
So either you need to check another crossing points or you reject that, okay? So this is what we're going to do today.